Okay, what are the major components of .NET? Uh, well, at the very fundamental level, and that's where we're going to start out, at the bottom level. And we're going to build up one step at a time, one brick at a time, and uh, do it very logically so you'll be able to see how each part fits together. So at the very bottom level is uh, uh, servers. And what is a server? Well, it's a, a servant. It, it does what you ask it to do. And uh, it's the foundation. Basically, a server uh, just uh, sits there, wait, li it's a listener that waits for you to give it commands. When you give it a command, it'll execute those commands for it, and that's it. And level uh, number two uh, component is the net framework itself. Now, the net framework sits between your compiled program and uh, the ones and zeros that your computer executes. So uh, your compiled program is in an intermediate language uh, that uh, is then translated by using the framework into ones and zeros. It's a native language for your particular uh, computer that you're using. And this makes it a lot more efficient because uh, it can be optimized for each computer. That's the just-in-time compiler. Uh, uh, compiles your uh, work uh, into a native language for uh, the particular operating system that you're using. Third component is security. And uh, security can cause you a lot of problems because there's a lot of different levels. There's file level, there's SQL Server level, and then there's also uh, ASP.NET level of security. And we'll delve into those different levels and separate them out so that they won't be so confusing for you. Uh, fourth component is uh, monitoring tools. Now, what I'm talking about here are low-level monitoring tools to help you in debugging, figure out uh, who's using this process. Uh, why is uh, SQL Server taking so long to execute this query, and so forth. Uh, the fifth component is a web server. And there's actually two web servers that we're going to look at in particular. There's the, in the, in the development side, when you're in Visual Studio, you're working with uh, something called ASP.NET Development Server. And you need to keep that distinct in your mind from when you're working in production and, and uh, using IIS, which is the Internet Information uh, Services Server. So, The next thing, next component, is uh, the SQL Server. This is confusing because there's uh, so many components to that. It's an animal in itself, and uh, we're expected to know this animal and all these other animals. So I'll try to cover the major parts of SQL Server and show uh, where they reside in your computer. The seventh component are the software development tools that you use to write the software. And to, uh, and here we'll be looking at, in particular, at Visual Studio, uh, at the Express editions uh, uh, of uh, uh, .NET languages, and uh, also at uh, SQL Server uh, development tools uh, like uh, SQL Server Management Studio. And uh, we'll wrap up by looking at the supporting languages for .NET. In addition to knowing .NET and all these other animals, you also have to know uh, several supporting languages. 